in this English lesson, I wanted to teach you the English term back breaking work. Now this is your back and it's something that gets really sore when you do back breaking work. Back breaking work is any kind of physical labor. If you see behind me here, we have the dahlia patch and it is pretty much done for the season. Now what makes dahlias different than other flowers is that there is a root that we have to dig out in the fall. We have to start digging out the roots and that is back breaking work. We have to go in and we have to dig out every single root with a shovel. So I know it looks like there's lots of flowers here. They aren't actually in that good a shape if I zoomed in. These flowers are almost done for the season and there's going to be a lot of back breaking work in the next few weeks as we dig them all out. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase to break out. Now this has a lot of different meanings, but I'm going to use it in this way. In order to dig up these dahlias, we are going to have to break out the shovel. In English, when you say you're going to break something out, it means you're going to get it out. Okay. It's just a funny phrase we use. Maybe you are going to go to someone's house for a party uh, and they're celebrating something. You might want to, uh, to break out the, the champagne if you drink champagne. But definitely, in order for us to dig up all of these dahlia roots, we're going to have to break out the shovel. We're going to have to get in here and just dig them up by hand. There's no nice machine. Oh, the shovel just fell. There's no nice machine uh, to do this in a nice, easy way. Um, there Actually, there is one, but it's really expensive. And this patch isn't big enough for us to afford that. So to review, any kind of work where you might hurt your back is work that we would say is back breaking work. Uh, so this is definitely going to be back breaking work. And to break out means to get something out, uh, to use it, or if it's something like champagne, to drink it. Hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Riza. The comment is, the phrase that I learned from this video was swatting a mosquito. And then my reply is the secret is that you have to swat them before they bite you. So that was from, thanks Riza. That was from the previous video where I was being attacked by mosquitoes as I was making the video. Um, thankfully, it has really cooled off here, um, particularly at night. The days are still quite warm. You can see I'm still wearing a short sleeve shirt. But uh, it has really cooled off at night and it seems like most of the mosquitoes um, are gone for the season. I was out last night and it was very, very nice. There were not very many mosquitoes at all. Um, it was very pleasant. Wow, that sun is really bright though, isn't it? Let me turn a little bit. So anyways, yes, let me give you a better view of all of these dahlias. They are beautiful. But at the same time, it's hard for you to see. Maybe I'm not sure if this will focus, but they're all slightly imperfect. We had some frost last night. We have a lot of dew on the flowers in the morning and the water, the little drop of water in the morning acts like a magnifying glass and the leaf can get burned. Let me spin you around. So you, sorry, not the leaf, the petal on the flower because of the dew acting like a little magnifying glass, it can get damaged. It can get a little bit burnt. So we don't generally sell dahlias after a certain point in October once it gets this cold. Anyways, a little bit more about flowers, a little bit more English. I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.